Hi, I'm John Liebman. I'd like to share with you a practice technique that has helped me immeasurably over the years, going all the way back to when I was a young student of classical double bass with the bow, playing things like Vivaldi sonatas and Tchaikovsky concertos. But this technique can be applied to just about any piece of music. My teacher used to have me take those bass parts and practice them with all kinds of rhythmic variations. And it's amazing how much better you learn a piece of music when you practice that way. Later on, on the electric bass, I used to like to play things like Flight of the Bumblebee, and there was a piece by Paganini I used to like to play very much. <laughs> on and on, of course much faster than that, but to give you an idea of how to apply this practice technique, those are all 16th notes. So for example, instead of playing, I would play something like, or maybe, There's almost no limit to the number of variations you can come up with, and it helped me beyond my wildest expectations, and I'm confident it will help you too. In this lesson, I've written kind of a quasi-funky R&B type of groove, which we're going to play first as written, then we're going to play it again with four variations where we take some liberties with the rhythms, and then at the end we'll play it again, the original version, and see how much your fingers appreciate your having gone through those rhythmic variations. Let's play this one together with the band, first at full tempo. So did your fingers feel any different playing the original groove again at the end after those variations? Let's slow this one down, play it again together so you really get those notes under your fingers. Then I'm going to disappear, let you practice this one with the band by yourself. and See how many variations you can come up with for this lesson or any other piece of music you're looking to learn. I hope this technique will help you as much as it has helped me.